Ooh, he's back. He's back, baby. He's back. The milk chocolate love in the house, baby. I'm back, baby. Hey, how y'all doing tonight, man? I hope y'all having a great night, great evening, great day, great morning, great everything around the world. I hope everything is going the way that y'all plan for it, look for it, and hope for it. Look, man, I got a video that was sent over to me by a homie, a good friend, um, young lady that I met that is, is always, uh, she's she's always supporting the brand, uh, everything, man. So I got to give a shout out. She the Truth. Y'all go for, uh, follow at She the Truth on, uh, on IG. Um, very, very cool young lady, man. Um, into the movie things. If you're into movies and want to find something out, how movies work. Um, she she's very uh, transparent with you and we share information and hard to go always reaching out and sharing as much information to be, help build a brand, mailman brand so thank you for this one She the Truth I'm definitely going to talk on this one matter of fact She the Truth didn't send me like three so y'all going to see a couple of them back to back and I'm going to always give her, her props man for sending these so thank you She the Truth now let's jump into it alright man so this video here man is um I need to know, my fellas, what y'all think on this? I guess I'm, yeah, we're going to be talking to the ladies. I mean, to the guys on this one. You know, you got to be honest with this one. Um, do y'all think um, men expectations of a woman is more unrealistic than a woman expectation of a man? In the video I'm about to play, the guy is going to explain this real clearly. And then I'm going to give out my my opinion on it. But he's going to definitely explain this real, real clear for you. And uh, I'm paying a picture on it, but um, we're gonna talk about it. Let's let's um, we're gonna talk about it. Let's run this clip, and then I'm gonna give my thoughts and my opinion on it, and then we're gonna go from there. You know, let's jump into it, baby. Oh, hold on, y'all. I gotta cut the sound on. Stick expectations, and some of them do. But ain't nobody got more unicorn, fairy tale, door to explore expectations of the opposite sex than us men. Again, some women do expect a man to be six feet tall and make six figures and have a six pack abs. And that's unrealistic for most men. But I know like 10 dudes already that fit into that category. All you got to do is have a good job and some good genetics and you're straight. But look at us. Like, how, how what do we expect of a woman? She got to be a virgin, but she got to be a freak. She got to pay half the bills. But she got to do 100% of the cleaning, the cooking, the child raising. She got to be exhausted from all of that. You know, all the cooking and washing and cleaning and all that good stuff. And still be horny enough to meet our sexual needs. And get a good night's rest, but also wake up in the middle of the night in case we want some head and a turkey sandwich. That ain't it. She also got to give birth to all our babies because, you know, we, we got to have that legacy. But then she can't have no stretch marks and she got to lose that baby weight in 30 days or less. And, and then she got to do it while fighting postpartum depression by herself because we're going to tell her she having an attitude or something like that because all we're thinking about is we ain't got no vagina in the last six weeks that she got to take the heel. That ain't it. Then she can get older, but she can't look older. Otherwise, we're going to say that she's falling off. Like, the list goes on, but just tell me something. How many women do you know that fit into that category? None. So who really got the unrealistic expectations? All right, y'all. Where we at? Who really got it? Do the women more, really got it? Do the, really, do the women really got the more unrealistic expectations than men? Do they? Yeah, man. Y'all ladies be saying y'all want to got a six one that's buff, that's got the six pack, got six figures. You know what I'm saying? We as men, well, we just want a woman that cook. That's it. <laughs> Now I'm just messing with y'all, man. I'm just messing with y'all. Um, um, in this video, man, my honest opinion with this guy, and I agree with him. I agree in this in this situation because um men do have a lot of unrealistic expectations, and a lot of men do not, not all. Let me say that a lot of men do have un unrealistic expectations, and a lot of men don't. Uh, give back the same, uh, reciprocate the same thing that they get. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I, I do believe that you have a lot of these guys out here that's unrealistic. Like I, I knew a couple of guys before, before I, I cut them off. Or I, I quit hanging with them. I had a home, but he wasn't taking care of his kids. Man, nah, dog. That's not how we. I rolled out. I take care of my kids. All my kids. I since they came out, they when they was in their mama's stomach, I was there. When they came out their mama's stomach, I was there. And still to this day, while I'm recording this video, I'm still here. And so I don't hey, if you don't take care of your kids, man, I don't kick it with you. I don't kick it with you. They ain't no, you ain't gonna hit me up and try to say, Mill, let's go. I got these girls, man. These on, we're gonna go kick out with these ladies. They gonna go hang out and let's go kick it. And but you can have money to go buy some drinks for a woman that you don't know. But the woman that had your child, you can't uh, even go buy no dog on say here goes some money for whatever the baby need. Man, get up out of here, bro. Man, miss me with that sucker ish. So now I, I agree with this brother a lot, a lot. And and he he made some very valid points. Very valid points, man. Um, um, a woman has to carry a baby, and then a man wants the woman to be in shape. My dude, do you realize the, the 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 pressures that comes on a woman, her body, from when she's pregnant, her breast starts to get milk in it, so it makes her breast heavier. Her stomach, her skin stretches because she has a whole child, uh, 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 another human inside of her. Her skin is stretching. And then you expect for that to just, what, bounce back like elastic? Like like a rubber band, bing, and it back, man. Come on, man, get real, bro. That ain't happening. That ain't happening, man. I'm I'm not. I ain't I ain't, man. Come on, bro. You can't expect that. Then you want her to go to the gym, but how many of y'all dudes going to the gym? Y'all dudes won't even go work out with your woman, but then get mad because she don't go to the gym. Or if she do go to the gym, here you hit her. Why you working out with that dude? Why that dude over there talking to you? You up in the gym trying to flirt with them dude? Now you intimidated because there's another guy that's in shape. That body looks better than yours because you don't want to go with her to work out but get mad when she go work out to get in shape to look good for you. But mad because another guy sees her in the gym and want to work out with her to be a motivational partner, but you and your feelings. Man, miss me with that sucker-ish. Come on, come on. Come on. Now, we all in our 40s, man. We all, well, not all of us. Not all of us, so I said that wrong. But I'm in my 40s. So, 40-some years old, you expect to meet a woman that's a virgin. You expect to meet a woman that, are you a virgin? So, so if your answer to that question is no, how in the hell you expect that you're going to meet a woman that's a virgin? Come on. Get real. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense at all, dog. It's like a man want a woman to put his life on hold for a man she never knew she might even meet. She don't know. She, she didn't know she was going to meet you, but she should have put herself on hold for you. Then even if she did put on herself on the hold for you, who to say you a good man for her to put herself on hold for? See, you want you want her to be the A1 and the best of the best woman, but you ain't the A1 and the best of the best man. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it add up. Now, y'all guys want to jump into the Oh, I guess you could kind of say a mom because you know your mama accept you for whoever you is. That's my baby. No matter whatever flowers you got, if you're lazy, she accept you. If you won't cook, she accept you. She'll still cook for you. If you won't clean, she'll still clean for you. If she out there, if you won't, if you throw a temper tantrum at a 25, 30, 40 year old man because you want something, she'll go out and figure out how to buy it for you. You know, you you want mama, you want mama attributes, but you want grown woman. Um, relations from her get your grown it's out of here bruh get your grown out of here it if you want a woman to be that understand what she has to go through to get to that if you want a woman to do something don't 
talk about her and down her. Ask how you and her can work together. Don't try to make it seem like you're better and you probably ain't even on the level that she is. I ain't gonna lie. I can't compete with no woman, man. A woman that can, a whole baby? I don't know. I don't want no parts of it. No, no parts of it. I don't want no parts of it. it baby, that is all you. All you. I, 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 whatever I can do to make your process easier, I will do. Because if you ask me to roll reverse with you, man, shit, I guess we ain't have no kids. Ah, shit, we ain't have no kids then. I guess we just gonna be, it's just gonna be us. We gonna have dogs. Yeah, we can go get some dogs. I got a dog out there right now. We had him. And I got another one up there too. We had, we, we had both of the dogs. Because you think that I'm finna push out a baby. Man, you got me. Man, shit. You better miss me with that. So, y'all dudes, check yourself. Check yourself. Then he said something that made that that made a lot of sense. You want the woman to go fifty percent with you on the bills, but you want her to do a hundred percent on the cleaning. What kind of issue is that? Come on, get real. Now, let me say, I know some guys probably, man, you do you do that stuff? You sitting up here trying to down us and talk about us. I ain't trying to down you, dog. I'm just trying to tell you realistic stuff, dog. Check yourself before you try to check a woman. Check yourself before you try to check a woman. Remember that. And let me tell you this. Now, look, I'm going to tell you about me, a little bit about me, and, you know, we're going to. We're going to wrap this thing up here because we ain't even got to talk about it. We know there's a lot of lazy men out here in the world. I don't wash dishes. I don't wash dishes unless I have to wash them because I don't like bugs. So if I have to wash them, I will. But you talking about a dude that don't like to wash dishes, that's me. I don't. Now, I would dishwash the shit out of some dishes, though. Shit, yeah, I would dishwash the hell out of dishes. You talking about throwing them in the dishwasher, throw some of that cascade in there, hit that little button, hot, steam dry or whatever I did it. Oh, I dishwash the shit out of some dishes. Man, you crazy? I dishwash some dishes like mug. So I might not wash them, but I dishwash them. All right. Show you next. Well, Mel, do you clean up? Yeah, I clean up. I don't like no dirty house. So I will clean up, but I try not to get it dirty. So I don't have to clean up a lot like that, but I will clean. I don't like dirty houses, but I definitely try to keep it where I don't have to, I don't have to clean. You keep it where you don't have to. It makes it simple. That's kind of hard, though, when you got kids. Oh, that's a whole nother subject on that one. Kids make it a whole nother, a whole nother route. All right. Mamel, do you do the laundry? How about the laundry? Man, I will do the laundry all day. Yeah, hey, hey, I do the laundry all day. And my ex can tell you this. I, do, I will wash and dry the hell out of them clothes. But I ain't folding I ain't folding them. I, I ain't folding them. I wash. I do all the washing. You can leave. I will wash everything that you want me to wash. I will do it. Go relax. And I will wash all of them. Wash them. Put them in a the dryer and put them in a the batch. But I'm not folding. I'm not folding. Man, clothes will sit on my bed or my couch for a month before I, they finally get to, um, <laughs> folded. Um, and that's because I'm single. Um... They might go longer than a month, but they will sit on my bed because I'm not going to fold no clothes. It take me a, forever to fold them. But when I was in a relationship, my ex, she would fold, but I wash. So I contribute to the relationship. Okay, well then, shoot, you you okay. Well, then you require a woman to do 50-50. No, I pay all the rent. I pay the, I pay the electric, the water, the cell phones. I pay them all. These ain't me just telling you. They ain't just telling you I do it. My relationships, they can tell you I did it. I still pay everything. So I'm I'm not saying it like I'm the I I 
for me, let me tell y'all me, I want to be very transparent. Me, I rather pay all the bills so I never get lazy. That's my mentality. I never, I never want to get lazy and I never want nobody to ever think that they can kick me out. They can put me out of the house because I don't do it. So I rather keep that in there because it makes me, as a man, I know I got responsibilities. I got to keep doing this because if I don't go do this, I won't be able to do this. So that's a mental thing for me, why I like to pay the bills, because nobody can never hold it over my head. My kids, mine did it to me once when I was younger, trying to find myself, held it over my head to where I wasn't making enough money to pay the bills. And that right there taught me a lesson. Never allow nobody to hold it over your head. Since that moment, and even when I was with her, and she can tell you this, even when I paid everything, but I was building my company. So I went from working a job into building my business. In the beginning of building a business, you don't really make money. You, you're basically robbing Peter to pay Paul. So I was in a transition of going from that person to becoming the man that I am today. So you don't build. But after that, I pay out the bills. I don't have no problem with paying the bills. I'm cool. I'd rather pay the bills. So, yeah, I, I ain't coming into the relationship looking for you to pay a half of the bills. Cause I'm a structure of my bills. Now, if you saying I, if I, my bills is five thousand a month, but you want to go out here and make the bills ten thousand a month, baby, that's on you. Go get that extra five thousand and put on whatever you want to go do. I'm not finna overextend myself just cause you want to go and add an extra five thousand and think I'm gonna take on that extra five thousand. My five thousand is my five thousand. If my bills is ten thousand and you want to go and make another extra ten thousand to turn on twenty thousand. And you think that I should take that extra ten thousand and pay for it? You on your own. What's wrong with this ten thousand a month bills that we got right here? That means I'm paying the car note, insurance, your car note, your car insurance, the mortgage, the uh, rent, the, the the electric, the water, the cell phone, Hulu, Netflix, um uh, um Disney Plus, the internet, um 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 the uh, the life insurance, the um equipment insurance, the um. Um, the, the 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 Planet Fitness bill, the, I'm paying all these bills, and I got them lined up on my desk. What bill got to pay? What day they come out? But you want to go say, well, shoot, let's go add it. I I know we get you can you paying this, so can you pay? Let's get this. I want this. No, what's wrong with this? I'm not gonna go over. So no, I'm not going out over there, man. So I I agree. Men, work on yourself before you try to go point your fingers at another at a woman and tell a woman what she's doing wrong. What you doing wrong? Think about it. Think about it. You better think about it. Cause a lot of y'all men ain't even doing a little simple thing like, like I as I got older, I was really younger, taking care of your teeth, taking care of your skin. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of your your, your health, staying in shape. All these things. I do it for myself. I want to be happy with myself and anybody else that get me. Hopefully they, hopefully they happy with me as well, but I'm going to be happy with me regardless if I'm with somebody or not with somebody, I'm going to be happy with me. That's why I do it for me. A thousand percent for me. Anything else is extra, baby. She got me up, man. We about here, man. Woo.